No, not really. Robo Knight of Faggot 3 Rape and uh, Joe Zilligan Whispering Faggot of Fairmount and Dave Bellamorad and Bernard de la Carney and Joe. It doesn't belong to any of you, not even the 61 amphibious base man, because you're all working together as well with the Negroes. Like I said, your special favoritism, because as Joe and you, Robo Knight, came up through at the Jonestown or wherever you guys came up through, people started to commit suicide because guess what? Joe or the Robo Knight or the Whispering Fag forced people to. So that deludes that it belonged to somebody else and you guys stole it. Like I said, Ellery touching everything. Pook, pook, pook. The construction guy's trying to say, well, we found something underground, which could be, but highly doubtful. I think. I think Bernard de la Carne and then, like I said, are jealous, failed actors and performers that came through the nation for after their hundred year, you know, war, grifted everybody and then run back the other way and then you guys go claiming your seat because you would not have any need to program and change things around to your need for Zion, Eden, and Atlantis there. Joe, Harry, Robo Knight, Red Gordon, Red Randy, if you all were telling the truth in the first place. Um, so, you guys are the ones that all of a sudden want to run a linear story. Be careful because that linear story is starting to say, um, here's your apex. You have an apex. But then you have a linear line. Oops, linear line from corner to corner. So, you know, I'm not doing it right, but if you're doing apex, and then, because the camera's reversed, an apex and a linear line that you guys are going with, guess what? You guys are not following the natural order of how things are handled. So, like I said, it eludes that our, a real eye was created, but then you men came through with your families and destroyed it, and those families who created.